uh, the live bite. Um, I think a lot of people don't understand that many dogs will definitely bite for real. Um, you know, the national statistics uh, says that there are thousands of reported dog bites every year. Um, now, here we have uh, a sleeve uh, and an arm that is dressed up like flesh. Um, not only does he go and bite the arm, he redirects after tearing the flesh off. He doesn't run off with the flesh. He doesn't acknowledge it as food. He's still fighting, um, which to me gives me a lot of confidence that he will definitely bite for real. So we have uh, young Aramis here, the beautiful Dutch herder. Abs absolutely stunning animal. Put your hand in his mouth. <laughs> right, gentlemen, burst all the way in. You both take off, run off, send the dog. Try and pick him up. Try and pick him up. Now step back, Mr. Tomas. Step back, Mr. Tomas. Start swinging this dog over your shoulder. Yeah. Go and swing him up. Yeah. Pick him up on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this is the dead dog, right? Because he doesn't know what's going on. We see this all the time. All right? There is no protection in this dog. He's just locked on. So do me a favor, leave that dog. Go and pick up over there uh, uh, the umbrella. Over there. Pick that up, right? And uh, go and uh, shove it up his ass, right? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't, he's locked on, isn't he? Yeah. And strike down on him. This is deemed hard. This is deemed incredible. Take him up to the, uh, to the stairs there. Press him up against there. Till he's almost suffocated. Yeah, go on. Deemed hard, right? Stay back. Yeah, he's not let go, has he? Yep. I don't believe this is the intelligent dog. Look at him. He's gonna, he's gonna kill himself there. He's still fighting. Of course. Go and pass him a knife. He's still fighting. It's great. He's still fighting. He's still fighting. Real dog. Go and hold his collar and cut his head off. Go and cut his head off. Hard dog. <laughs> no, he's not. It's enough. Ar Aramis, I promise you, as your father, I will re-educate you on the right way to fight. Right, gentlemen, we have young Archie, 12 months old. You're both going to walk in and only one of you will be a verbal aggressor, shouting, yes. no hand movements, no nothing. No weapon, no nothing. Let's see his understanding of the aggressor, right? And I want him to pick out the person that's been aggressive, okay? Step in. Send the dog. Send him. Good lad. Nice, meaningful bite. Go around and go and try and pick this dog up. Go, yeah, go and pick him up. Pick him up. Good lad. 
12 months old. So Archie was bred at the academy. Um, he sold an R0 to Hero program. And we're now educating him on how he can protect himself. Um, he's now starting to understand that when there's a dual attacker, it's very important that you deal with that attacker as well. The most important thing is that he redirects to create harm. And so we can also have DNA of every single intruder that came into the house at 12 months old. Now, we raised um, Aramis from uh, about uh, 14 weeks, um, but we followed a path with him, um, a path of the committed bite, um, relentless, um, not giving up, not caring about the dangers, just locking in and locking in tight. We are genuinely trying to look at the real picture by actually applying the processes directly. You can see the real risk. The dog is very hard. There's no doubt about it. And there is a very strong argument in the industry about these type of dogs. Um, and yes, very true on bare flesh. Um, you know, of course, um, you know, you would be in agony. But if there is a second person there, if there is a second person there, that dog, without having any genuine canine combat skills or the ability to redirect, is a dog that is a dead dog. They will stab the dog, kick its ribs in, um, you know, cut its head off. Um, so many different things. You know, it is locked on, it is committed, but there is a risk that we must mitigate for this dog so it can stay alive. Good lad. Good. Good lad. I'm so proud of um, Archie. Um, he's 12 months old. I mean, it's a, a young age to, to understand such complex behavior. Um, you know, it's a young age to even be on a bite suit, let alone understanding the sequence of events um, that are necessary. In, in combat, you know, and, and, and he's fighting intelligently. 12 months old, good Wonderful. lad. So this is uh, Archie, 12 months old, bred at the academy. You see the size? Shepherds have been bred down now because apparently they don't have the performance when they're large. It's a uh, bullshit. <laughs> it's absolute bullshit. Of course, you can have the size and the movement Six. and the performance. Good. Good In personal protection, I want it all. I want a dog that's handle and respectful. Excited about learning. Huge animal. He's just 12 months old. Today, we're gonna get him to do protection with two people. I could spend all my time doing bike work with him. Or we could spend more of the time getting compliance. Wonderful. Okay, so we have them there. We have the bow speaker. Uh, all right, increase the volume. You know, before um, bite work and, you know, this um, crazy concept that, that, you know, these young pups, the first thing ever should be for them to be, you know, biting things. And definitely you must assess the drives. But, you know, little things like exposure to animal noises, traffic noises, um, makes a huge, huge difference to the overall development and stability of the canine. Noise sensitivity, big bangs. How does it affect the, the, the pup? Are you aware whether the pup has that confidence, um, you know, to, 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 to recover? Put it in the bridge. First one in, start swinging that bridge for me. 
more violent, more violent, more violent than that. And she, the, the puppy stays more violently than that. Yeah, that is food drive. Okay, pick the ball up. It's all about the right decisions in life. Yeah, let them figure it out. That's it. Look at that one going up those stairs. Good. Look at that. Yeah. In our canine kindergarten, um, the um, importance of um, building courage, um, exposing uh, the young dogs to relevant um, environmental stresses to make sure that, first of all, they are well exposed. Secondly, that we are picking um, the, the right puppies, you know, the puppies that have what it takes um, to, to do what we want them to do. Very young 12 month old shepherd bred by us. You, you've got a matador, open it up more. Like that. You're going to come in. Yeah. Come in now. Come in. Wrap him up in it. Wrap him up in it. Yeah. Drop it. Wrap him up and escape. There's a, a mixture of um, uh, sort of tasks for him to overcome. First of all, you have slippery floors. Um, secondly, his prey and play drive, he must exhibit the hunt drive and the fight drive while skidding around on, on the slippery floors. Someone asked why the slippery floors? High net worth clients have marble floors or tiled kitchens. They must fight on these surfaces.